This video serves as part two for our premiere video, geneticist Michael Hammer proved African tribe was A00 haplotype, released on YouTube March 2024. Part one link above. We strongly urge you to watch the entire video from beginning to end. There are a lot of twists and turns in this story. You're going to want to get all the information. Let's get started. Dr. Michael Hammer is a longtime genetics researcher at the University of Arizona. Dr. Hammer, interview, Arizona PM 2017. Quote, I think I was just motivated by genuine curiosity as to how this all came to be. In terms of human beings, how are we different from other species? End quote. Quick review, Albert Perry, A00 haplotype, South Carolina to Cameroon. In 2012, Dr. Hammer and his team were called in to investigate a strange anomaly from a genetics testing firm. The firm had detected a signal on a Y chromosome never before seen. Out of a dozen samples submitted by an African American genealogist, one of them came back undetermined. The sample came from an anonymous donor who was the grandson of a South Carolina slave named Albert Perry. Hammer's team traced the A00 haplotype to a small village in western Cameroon, Embo. Hammer's team conducted on-site tests of 188 males in the Cameroon village. 11 of the men in the village tested positive for A00 haplotype. At least two of those men had striking archaic facial features. Ever since Darwin's Origin of Species came out in the 1800s, scientists have been exploring Africa for the mysterious eight-man missing link. Hammer and his team had discovered 11 archaic humans living in Africa. Hammer's research was limited to one small village. If the research team had expanded their efforts, they likely would have found dozens, even hundreds more archaic Africans. Hammer takes on the anthropology establishment. In 2017, Hammer had a major paper published in Scientific American on human hybrids. Hammer, we analyzed whole genome sequence data from two contemporary Central African pygmy hunter-gatherer populations and identified more than 250 genetic loci with strong archaic DNA signals. Continuing, an African-American man living in South Carolina, his particular variant had never been seen before. Comparing his Y sequence against those of other humans and chimpanzees, my team determined that his sequence represents a previously unknown Y chromosome lineage. Hammer concludes, in light of the accumulating evidence for interbreeding between anatomically modern Homo sapiens and archaic humans both inside Africa and beyond, the out of Africa replacement model is no longer tenable. Prehistoric men alive in Cameroon. The Cameroon Research Project was formed in conjunction with Hammer's efforts. The paper came out in 2013 at ResearchGate. It included a number of prominent geneticists, co-authors, including Dr. Hammer, Fernando Mendez, August Werner, and Bonnie Schrack. In a blog post at WholeGenomes.com in 2013, co-author Kron announces a momentous discovery. We have a new root on the human tree. A 
conference was even convened of top geneticists to discuss the findings. The announcement of living archaic Africans of A00 haplotype received a great deal of attention, mostly in the science media. But the announcement of living archaic Africans even garnered mainstream media. But problems soon arose. Earlier, Kron had noted in a blog post, Bonnie, Thomas, and Michael Hammer are somewhat restricted in what they can say. By 2017, Hammer and his team's efforts were scaled back. The A00 project lingered on for two more years, but it too was eventually shuttered. Other geneticists strike back at Hammer. In 2014, a paper was put out that sought to undermine the Albert Perry A00 hypothesis. It is important to note that left anthropologists often cite this study as proof that A00 hypothesis is inaccurate. Attacks on Hammer were not just limited to academic papers. Elhake and his cohorts launched a social media campaign as well as appearances at conferences. As a result, you will see that the L. Hake paper is the first paper that comes up in search engines for A00 haplotype. Professor Iran L. Hake is affiliated with the University of Sheffield. As we shall soon see, he has quite a controversial past. His co-authors as well are considered by many to be out of the mainstream. Co-author Tatiana Tatarinova is a computational biologist and associate biology professor at Laverne University in California. Professor Dan Grauer is affiliated with the University of Houston. He calls himself the vigilante. Colleagues describe him as a terror at conferences for his obsession with junk DNA. Grauer also likes to morph himself into a Neanderthal. From the abstract, we demonstrate that the TMRCA estimate was reached through inadequate statistical and analytical methods, each of which contributed to its inflation. Note, TMRCA is simply an abbreviation for the last common ancestor. Further, we show that the authors incorrectly derived the Y-specific substitution rate from autosomal mutation rates. Our analysis indicates that the A00 lineage was derived from all the other lineages 208,000 years ago. L. Hake et al. go on to make a huge blunder from the paper. All human Y chromosomes, or the time to the most recent common ancestor, is approximately 338,000 years ago. This was surprising on many levels. This estimate is more than double the oldest previous estimate of 141,000 years ago. OMO-1, discovered by the Richard Leakey team at Lake Turkana in 1968, is officially the first Homo sapien. Chris Stringer! It is evident that OMO-1 can be assigned to modern Homo sapiens from the preserved parts, Calvaria postcranial, reference Royal Society Publishing 2016. We now know from two major papers, one published January 2022, the other published March 2024, that a new minimum age for the Omo fossils, the last common ancestor, is 233,000 years ago, not 141,000 years as cited by Elhek et al. Elhik and his team missed the dating of the last common ancestor by nearly 100,000 years. This throws all of his calculations into serious question. The personal and professional foibles of Professor Elhik. 
El Hake has been accused by colleagues of being on the payroll of the commercial ancestry industry. An article appeared in Forbes by KSU professor Jennifer Raff in 2019, Genetics Astrology. In response, El Hake tweeted out that his colleagues Jennifer Raff and Adam Rutherford were not real scientists. El Hake is also the originator of the hypothesis that Jews come from the fabled land of Khazaria. His 2013 paper argued that Jews are descendants of the Khazars, a Turkic people. From the Jewish Forward 2013, El Haik writes that the Khazars converted to Judaism in the 8th century. El Haik compared genetic signatures found in Jews with modern day Armenians and Georgians. Michael Hammer in the Forward Khazarian hypothesis proponents are, quote, outlier folks who have a minority view that's not supported scientifically. I think their arguments they make are pretty weak and stretching what we know." End quote. In Hammer's battles with El Haik occurred during a time that he was dealing with a personal tragedy on the home front. His teenage daughter died suddenly of a seizure related to SIDS. She had been battling with a rare form of epilepsy referred to as SC n 8 a Dr. Hammer now works at ARL Division of Biotechnology, University of Arizona. Biological related disciplines including synthetic biology, biological materials, and biological interfaces. Professor Elhaik works for a multinational genetics conglomerate based in Sweden. Final note, the El Haig paper is the top article listed on search engines for A00 haplotype. Activists on the left use the El Haig paper as the primary source to discredit any and all discussions of living archaic hominids. Thank you for watching. There's more to come on this topic, so we shall see you soon.